Hey everyone, Rodev here, and today we're going to be continuing the simulator series, and I bring you part 6 today, so let's get right into it. So the first thing you may notice is the UI has changed a little bit. For that, I have re-uploaded uh, the model, so if you go to the same link as last time, or in the description, the model link is there again. Go ahead and uh, download the model. You can delete the main UI that you have right now and insert the new one. And uh, after that, as you can see, we have a new UI called Pop-Up. And inside Replicated Storage, we have two new um, well, text labels. So I'm going to show you guys how those work. But before that, inside Looter Stats, um, right here, this number, this 100, I'm going to show you guys why you might want to change it. So real quick, uh, when we're in. Alright guys, uh, hopefully the music isn't that bad. Last time there was um, a lot of issues with the music. You could barely hear me. So I'm just going to turn down a lot more. And hopefully you can hear me. But basically this is 2 out of 6 strength. Uh, this is 4 out of 6 and 6 out of 6. As you can see, it's just way too big. And when I sell, you know, I'm back to normal. I have to fall all the way down. So basically, we, we don't want that. This should probably be around max size or even less than that should be max size. So for that, we need to change that 100. Right here is the 100. And basically, we can start off by changing it to 50. I settled around 5 or 10, but you guys can choose whatever you like. So this is 2 out of 6 with 50 scale, 4 out of 6, and 6 out of 6 with a 50 scale. When I sell, back to normal and if I do it again you know I'm going up so you can uh, just make sure you experiment with the scale until you find something you like personally around like seven I guess I haven't actually tried seven yet just five and ten we'll try in the middle oh uh, yeah for four out of six I think that's pretty good six out of six then we can sell so yeah I like that scale and I think I'm gonna be using it for the series you guys can use anything you'd like but this is what I'm gonna be using so let's move on and get uh, on with the UI so First thing you want to do is go ahead and insert the uh, new main UI, and after that, create a screen UI called Pop-Up. Uh, the name doesn't matter, just call it something memorable, like, or something that relates to what it's for, which is Pop-Up. Uh, the script name doesn't matter either, and this script is actually available in the, in the uh, description, so don't worry about that for now. But inside Replicated Storage, uh, we need two uh, text labels. So basically for that, we're just going to create one and then duplicate it afterwards. So for cache, uh, just insert a new text label inside this UI right here. And then uh, from there, go down to the text level properties, go to size, make the size 1, 0, 1, 0. And then after that, you can start moving around these so that the uh, text level is scaled. Of course, we do want it to be scaled so it looks uh, the same on all devices instead of um, bigger than the screen on mobile and um, too small for you to see on PC. So obviously, we don't want any of that happening, which is why we're going to scale it. But after that, you should get a number like this. If you want, you can just copy me 0 0.102, comma 0, comma 0.063, comma 0. And make sure you name it cache. Um, I think the name actually, it does matter. So make sure you do name it cache. And from there, you want to create a local script and copy this. So first, you want to make sure that weight is there. It's really important. Then script.parent.tween, or colon, sorry, make sure it's a colon, not a dot. So colon, tween position, and then you want to put all of this here. Just copy it, you know, pause the video, go ahead and copy it. Um, from there, we also have this for loop. Um, right here, we pick a random, basically it'll tween the rotation, left or right, as you guys saw in the, um, uh, when I was just showing you guys the scale for the leader stats uh, size. Um, it'll tween uh, either left or right for the rotation. So if we look at it again, as you can see, it'll either tween left or right. It's completely random, so yeah. Um, cache, of course, I removed cache from replicated storage, so we're going to get the error for now. Just make sure when you're done, you put it in replicated storage. So, you want to make sure that the text, uh, well, the text doesn't matter for now, actually. It'll say, uh, what the script tells it to say. So, right now, you can just have someone uh, as a placeholder. For example, I have the plus, uh, number, and then a cache emoji. So, after that, make sure you put in replicated storage, then duplicate it, rename it to strength, and you're done. Um, if you have something else other than strength, I'll show you guys where to change that. Just go into here. And first thing you want to do is change it up here. Then come down to line 10. Change it right over here. And I think that's it. Over here you can change the emoji. So uh, that's going to be it. Really for this video. The pop-up should work. The main UI should work. And make sure you have these in replicated storage. That's pretty much it for this video. Make sure you get the UI as well. And yeah. Uh, once again, that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed this uh, video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Miss you guys in the next one. Peace.